So we're gonna go over how to remove the hydraulic brake, uh, inspect the pads for wear, and reinstalling the pads into the brake and the brake onto the bike itself. So when removing this brake, first thing you're gonna do is take these two bolts off. It's gonna be a five millimeter wrench. Take off the brake, set your wrench down, and take off the adapter, both bolts. I like to put them in their respective places. Next, what you're gonna wanna do, this bolt right here, the three millimeter wrench, and you're gonna wanna unscrew that. And once it's out, pull it, set it aside. Now to remove the brakes up here, you're gonna to wanna to push down and you'll receive the brakes on the other side. So push, and then once you have it, you can pinch it and pull them out and remove the brake. So after removing the pads from the brake, uh, you're gonna to wanna to check for the millimeter thickness of the pads. Uh, how I do that is with this micrometer here. So I open it up, put my pad in, and I can see it's about 3.7, which is in the acceptable range. Three to four is the acceptable range. Anything below three millimeters is gonna need to be replaced. Uh, but in this case, I can also just clean them and it's gonna be just fine. Grab my sandpaper, uh, anywhere from 60 to 80 grit is great. Uh, have the pad face down. And you're gonna wanna scrub them. And as you can see, the dust coming off of them, it's the black, it's kind of the grime you would find from the road. So after a few times I check them and I compare them. This one's a little bit lighter now, clean. This one's a little bit dirtier, a little bit darker as well. So after you've cleaned your pads, what you want to do is put them back onto the spring, which is this piece. Kind of like a puzzle piece, you just put them on this way. And the other one's gonna fit right on top there as well. Make sure they sit in there flush. Then you have your brake pads ready to go. So in addition to cleaning the pads, you're gonna to wanna to clean the actual brake itself. Uh, I like to use 99% alcohol. Um, it's uh, better for the brake. Just spray it inside, a couple of sprays. Grab a rag, clean off the excess. And then from there, we'll grab our brake pads in the spring already loaded. So you're gonna wanna pinch them together because the spring will actuate. So pinch and then at a slight angle, push them into the brake until you hear it click. Next, we're gonna put our bolt into this hole again. Grab your three millimeter wrench, your bolt, insert, wrench, and twist. Next, you're gonna grab your brake adapter, uh, making sure the orientation is pointing up as indicated on the adapter itself. Align your brake pads with the rotor. This will fit just like a puzzle piece. So on there first. Align the adapter up to the mount. Hold in place.
Go ahead and just give them a quick hand type before you do any wrenching on both top and bottom. Grab your five millimeter wrench. Both top and bottom bolts again. And you're set.